Interesting news to Yen and Lisa do hair and makeup on the show. And before the show, the Scottish <laughs> was talking to them <laughs> and said, Would you like to be on the beginning of the show? And they were like, oh, oh. <laughs> And then I said, And then the Scottish bloke said, Well, what about being on with Sid? And to Yen went, Ooh, I love Sid! <laughs> and Lisa was like, Oh, yeah, Sid's great! <laughs> You know, you really hurt me when you did that. I mean, not me. <laughs> Actually, I'm flattered. Now, look, the reason why I'm here is twofold. One, it's the first of the month, so it's, you know, the correct thing to do is say, lucky white <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> Come on, girls. Lucky, lucky white, white rabbits. rabbits. <laughs> 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 Is we were looking at the research. Right, did you girls know about this? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> Stop looking at whoever's <laughs> off camera! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, so knock it off. Now, if we were looking at research on the show, right, and they have this thing called minute by minute ratings, and it shows you who's the most successful guest who people like, and then other, when people turn off. And we were looking at because computers work it out. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> here's the thing. Whenever Tien and Lisa are on the show, the ratings go through the roof. <laughs> wait, wait. This is this is frightening <laughs> to me. <laughs> anyway, apparently you love these girls a lot, so please enjoy for the next couple of seconds. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You probably want to stay around to the end of the show now, don't you, everybody? Because <laughs> Tien and Lisa are here, right, Jeff? Yeah. I was wondering if maybe the four of us could go out afterwards and maybe get a bite to eat or something. Or maybe do a quick porn. <laughs> Don't go straight to quick porn. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you've got to uh, yeah, yeah. take it easy. Yeah. You know, work your way in slowly. You say, would you like something to eat? How's your drink? Do you want to do a porn? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, what, what did you learn on the show tonight, ladies? <laughs> uh, how about you, Jeff? <laughs> You sack of... Ay, caramba! <laughs> You're the one that I meant to depend on. I, I did learn uh, what, what a flamingo thinks. A flamingo thinks? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 I did do I that, did learn didn't I? That. Yeah. I was thinking that flamingo thought about you right there when you did that silent thing after to Yen and Lisa. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm thinking it again right now. <laughs> anyway, look, let's just, you know, relax... Enjoy that Tuyen and Lisa are here and soak up that magical ratings power. <laughs> <laughs> Only 18 more seconds to go. <laughs> I can feel the approval skyrocketing. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. All right, here's a quick update, just to know what's happening. Last night, we tried an experiment. Uh, every time we have Tuyen and Lisa on the show, the ratings go up. We looked at the ratings from last night, they went up. So, right, here now. <laughs> Next thing. Get used to them. <laughs> also, Brenda is here. Brenda, tell the folks where you're from. Scotland. Scotland, you say. Which part of Scotland are you from? Cumbernauld. Cumbernauld, that's interesting. I'm also from a town called Cumbernauld in Scotland. Do you know Big Jim? <laughs> There's plenty of big gyms in Scotland. Yeah, there are. What school did you go to in Cumbernauld? Um, I didn't go to school in Cumbernauld. I went to school in Springburn. My family are from Springburn. <laughs> 
you're joking. That's why I talk in a high voice like this. <laughs> Don't your family talk in a high voice like this? No. Oh, okay. So, wait, wait, you moved from Springburn to Cumbernauld by choice? <laughs> through marriage. Oh, through marriage. How's that going? It didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Have you met Cleanne and Lisa? They cheer everyone up, apparently. Yeah, they're very nice. They are lovely girls. Now, let's see. <laughs> well, there's a few scenarios I could run. None of them, I think. <laughs> Broadcastable. How, how long are you in America for, Brenda? Uh, I'm here to next week, next Thursday. Next Thursday. I don't understand a word. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> are you having a nice time? I'm having a lovely Aren't time. Aren't Americans nice? They're lovely. Yes, I mean, when I was in Scotland, I thought, well, you know, when you come to America, everyone will shoot you. But they don't. <laughs> or, or have you been shot at? No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> threatened to be stun gunned, but no. Really? Not. Yes. By whom? <laughs> I'd rather not see. <laughs> well, I'm afraid in America you have to. We have, uh, you know, freedom of information here. If you don't tell us, then we get to make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can stay quiet. It's the Fifth Amendment, isn't it? Yeah, gee, if you'd have studied up on that, Brenda, you'd have known. <laughs> <sighs> you know, sometimes, Brenda, I ask myself... <laughs> <laughs> You know what's coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes Brenda asks myself, and then I think, no. Because what I was going to say was, sometimes I ask myself, maybe I should go back to Cumbernauld. Oh, no. No, I know. <laughs> Still, the thing is, though, it, I mean, there's a lot of nice people there. There is, yes, and we're a friendly lot. That's true. We're very friendly. <laughs> Don't oversell it, Brenda. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> so that's about all the time we have for tonight. <laughs> Ratings, people. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. That's right, America. Go ahead and enjoy. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Oh, by the way, I wear, I wear vests now. Vests are cool. <laughs> here's the thing. Now, uh, the last couple of nights, I've had Tuyen and Lisa on the show. And, uh, and, you know, because in a strange quirk of fate, every time we have them on the show, the ratings go through the roof for this show. <laughs> I mean, I thought, well, this is a funny thing. So last night, as a joke, we did it again. We brought it into Yen and Lisa. We looked at the ratings this morning. <laughs> it's like, what is this? And then I asked a couple of people around here, and they said, well, they're attractive and not you, Craig. <laughs> so they're going to be here now from now on. And I've noticed that uh, Tuyen uh, is originally from uh, Vietnam. My Vietnam. Well, Orange County. You're, uh, yeah, you're... <laughs> family are from Vietnam. And Lisa is from Ireland. Yes. And our ratings in Vietnam and Ireland skyrocketing. <laughs> so I've had this idea. Like, every night, I'll come out and uh, to Yen and Lisa can be dressed in different outfits from history. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, beer garden girls or um, vampires. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Although I don't know if vampires are historically accurate. Anyway, what do you think? Ah, you're not allowed to speak. Fine. <laughs> no, you are, actually, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see why this is a ratings crack attack winner. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good for ratings, bad for ratings. <laughs> we went too long tonight. Say good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Hello, my name's Craig. I'll be your captain for the show tonight. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be, it's a pretty boring routine journey to bedtime. Uh, but before we get going, uh, Tuyen and Lisa are going to take you through the uh, safety instructions. Please 
Follow along carefully. <laughs> Wait, I haven't started. I haven't started. Aren't their outfits adorable? I was like, what airline is this? It was like, sexy air. Anyway, here you go. Uh, the overhead lockers are above your seat. Uh, do the thing while I say it. If you, like, you do the thing and I, yeah. The overhead lockers are above your seat. Yes. <laughs> Uh, there are two uh, exits in front of you, and the nearest exit may be behind you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just realised we cussed everybody out in deaf sign language. <laughs> Is that true, did we? No, I know how to cuss in sign language. What, I don't show you? Why? Wouldn't that be good? All right, um, the, uh, the if in the unlikely event of a water landing, is swim away from the aircraft using the breaststroke. <laughs> or the backstroke. <laughs> I think, I think they look great. I'm going to get one of these. <laughs> it's not, it's not the army, Lisa. You don't have to like... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's going to be an awkward kind of a show tonight, I think. <laughs> you might experience a little turbulence. Don't worry, it's perfectly routine. And uh, we'll get you where you need to be. <laughs> Perhaps you could mime that. <laughs> Would you like me to mime it? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. We've got a little bit of work to do, but I think we're getting there. <laughs> it's October somewhere. <laughs> All right, uh, girls, could you put your beer down? I have something I'd like to do. If I had a nickel for every time I'd said that. <laughs> that sounded dirty. Which, if you don't know, is my new catchphrase. Anyway, I've just started it. Uh, I'd like to do some marching up and down, because you, uh, to Yen and, and Lisa do the, uh, to Yen and Lisa, I'd said to Yen and Lisa, obviously that's not the way it is. <laughs> it's to Yen and Lisa. Uh, to Yen and Lisa do hair and makeup on the show, and they have to actually work. But I'd like to march up and down with a horse. <laughs> so they, they can't march up and down with a horse, because they actually have to do their jobs. So I say, let's march up and down with a horse! No! Sometimes, Jeff, I think this show is getting too commercial. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it was All right, one more time. We got to move that color TV.
Hey, everybody. I, uh, recently, uh, Tuyen and Lisa, uh, who work in hair and makeup on the show, have have been joining me at the start of the show. But Lisa's not here today. She's uh, doing something else more profitable. And so, <laughs> so Tuyen is here. And so last night they said to me, "Hey, what do you want Tuyen to wear?" I said, "Oh, a traditional costume, because you know Tuyen's family are originally from v Vietnam." <laughs> but I, I think they they got confused. <laughs> And then I thought, Tuyen's going to be on her own out here in the creepy basement with me. That's not right. We better have a chaperone, right? So, Jeff's here too. <laughs> That's right. What better chaperone than a creepy gay skeleton? <laughs> so now Tuyen won't be afraid, knowing that she's here with me and my gay robot pal. <laughs> I think, I think she's a little scared, Jeff. No, don't be nervous. <laughs> it's, a, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Do you, do you want to go back and do the hair and, hair and makeup stuff? Sure. Oh, on you go. Then. Okay. On you go. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was a bit awkward, wasn't it? I think, I think you creeped her out. No, I think you creeped her out, man. Why would I creep her out? Say to me sometimes, Craig, it, how two yen's not on her own because there's two guys in the horse suit. No, you know what's inside the horse suit? A horse. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff wanted to be on the show as well. <laughs> <laughs> but but he wouldn't dress up as a little Dutch girl. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Right, there you are. Really? <laughs> hey, Tien, how are you? We're really. Okay, just uh, stick with me through this bit. It's going to be great. <laughs> uh, we're going to do our best to give you a safe and pleasant show tonight. In the unlikely event of any trouble, just follow the uh, security uh, instructions from Tien. She will guide you to the nearest exit. If uh, Jeff fills you up, please feel free to file a lawsuit to CBN. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. We gotta run, everybody. We're off to a Who You Lose in the News concert. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Jeff, a lot of folks were uh, emailing during the commercial break asking uh, why the girls were dressed as construction workers. Why don't you tell the folks at home why that is? Well, that's partly because it uh, drives the ratings through the roof. <laughs> And the fact that the, uh, the, there was 800 pounds of marijuana found off the coast of California today. But I suspect that that was only part of a larger consignment. What do you think, Jeff? I would have to agree. And I think there's somebody out there watching TV tonight that needs this kind of thing. <laughs> and and I, I, like to, I like to reach everyone. That sounded dirty. <laughs> there goes my penis. Oh, wait. I don't think you should say that word in front of the construction workers. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. All right. You know, you never contribute at this part of the show. <laughs> you you, you kind of you creep me out. You stand there, you don't... You don't really do it, do anything when it when it's not time for physical comedy. You just kind of freeze. <laughs> you know, you, you remind me of an even slower version. I say you remind me of an even slower version of a uh, foghorn Lego.
<clears throat> anyway, the girls are actually doing some construction work around the studio. Jeff's having a new ass. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yes, it's made of titanium. Titanium. <laughs> so tune in tomorrow, why don't you, for a new robot ass. <laughs> Good night, everybody. says, Craig, uh, we run a well-established professional extermination company. Should you find yourself in need of the help with that pesky Jay Leno fly? It does fly in from time to time. <laughs> this is fine. It's a true story. True story. <laughs> it's a pretty good day. You know, Mavis, it's very good. My car. You know. 